disk. All right. Okay, uh, so I've asked, uh, asked a lovely question on discovering uh, my authentic self and my experiences around that and just uh, my views on that. Um, for, my, you know, for myself, it just happened through very profound uh, spiritual experience. Um, at the age of 30, um, suddenly having kidney failure, inactive addiction, having, a, you know, being full of fear, thinking at 100 miles an hour, unconsciously trying to kill myself with food and other addictions, um, and facing death. It was just a profound synchronicity of circumstances which uh, allowed a surrender to happen. And there was this heavenly, timeless spiritual experience that came, came upon me. And um, it, it was, to, to say it more accurately, it was the... It was like the, my fearful, my fearful, panicked self suddenly disappeared, and there was this sublime heavenly peace uh, that was there. And it felt like, I, if there was something there, intuitively, it just wanted to rest in that heavenly uh, timelessness and never come back to what was um, any anything resembling what uh, the nightmare that I was living in. And actually, funny enough, there was actually a guidance that came through to find a spiritual solution, and then that spiritual experience ended. And uh, when with the, the statement, discover your authentic self, I knew that that experience, that, uh, that heavenly peace, uh, you know, I, I knew that that was a much more, not so much mentally, but I knew I wanted that. I wanted to rest in that and be with that and not be in my loud head and full of fear um, and panic. So that led, led to a full journey of knowing that somehow with this mystical thing of surrendering, I would get, uh, I could potentially get these uh, phenomenal connections to an infinite peace within. Uh, but I didn't know how to do that. And that started the, the whole journey of meeting my spiritual teachers. One of them was a, a uh, enlightenment teacher in Brixton. The other one was uh, Dr. Hawkins in Sedona. And I just knew that um, uh, when I was with, when I met the teacher in Brixton, I'd get these sublime heavenly, heavenly experiences come upon me as I was going into the observer. And also um, with watching um, Hawkins DVDs, I would get these kundalini, these profound spiritual experiences. So it was almost like I wanted, I wanted that inner peace, that, that inner love, shall we say, that was not from my ego. And the universe was pointing my way. And it seemed that, you know, my first sort of, um, sort of near death uh, experience was really um, calling me my, if you like, my authentic self was calling me to shed my ego self. That's what I could see. It was like on facing death when my ego had utterly failed to save me uh, and I surrender the control, I surrender, I surrender everything somehow deeply, then I was getting these profound spiritual experiences. And, and meeting the spiritual teachers, it seemed like, okay, I mean, it's, it's obvious my pathway is to let go of my ego mind and to uh, and it seemed that I was being attracted to teachers of enlightenment, so they are very much um, the teachers that I was drawn to. You know, the death of the ego uh, and the highest levels of enlightenment. So I knew that was my calling. So uh, then, you know, it was like uh, this willingness. I'm still on the journey to just eradicate all the blocks to achieving. Uh, these very sublime inner states. And it's very, very obvious to me that the, the more I let go of being in my head, in my body, and all the desires and cravings of the ego, the happier I get. Of course, I go into forgetfulness, but it's just this call. And I think for pe people who get this calling or messages, many people get messages. I've met many people who've had profound spiritual experiences, and there's a message often in them. Uh, like 
who, who is your authentic self or who are you and your authentic self? And these messages are just a call for me from uh, spirit to just go deeper into and, and give you the inspiration and the willingness to and tools to let go of being in the controlling ego mind, which is blocking off higher levels of inner spiritual experience. And often you'll get the right teachers that the more you let go, the more an inner intuition and a guidance and the synchronistic miracles will take care of everything uh, to the extent that the ego is no longer in there trying to, uh, trying to exert um, its karma or its will on uh, various areas of life. Okay, I'm gonna stop the camera there and stop.